Making async calls can be very powerful, but before running off integrating async calls within your Java application, it is important to know that it may not fix your bottleneck. In async design, you're only as good as is your fastest data call, for instance. If you have a total of five calls, three render in five seconds, while two render in 500 milliseconds, the best you can achieve running asynchronously is five seconds. Additional performance tuning may need to be performed at the various levels in your application, such as your data access layer, network, or application. Application layer. For our exercise, we will make a GET request to a URL that kicks off four different method calls with a delay of 500 milliseconds. This pattern could be applied to any service or data access object. If you are making a request against a database, be sure that you have configured your connection pools appropriately. We follow the Spring Boot tutorial and create a project through Spring Initializer web interface, selecting web project dependencies. Downloading and importing into Eclipse, we will add Guava dependency. Let's add Enable Async annotation to our application, which is an annotation that turns on Spring's async method execution. This annotation has similar proxying behaviors like cacheable. One thing to note, if you are calling multiple methods wrapped with async within the same class, you will need to refactor the method into a new class due to the proxying behaviors. Since we want to customize the executor, we will implement async configure. When doing so, we are required to provide the executor itself and let Spring know how to handle exceptions. Overriding Git async executor method, we will return a thread pool task executor, a class that will manage the thread pool. Next, returning simple async uncaught exception handler in the get async uncaught exception handler method will log any errors that occur. Starting up our application, we will see async has been configured and we can start wrapping our methods with the async annotation. After setup and application configuration is complete, we will create my sample service class that will contain call async method. It is flagged with Spring's async annotation that will trigger Spring to run the execution on a separate thread if the application is set up to do so. It also has a return type of future, which is a requirement to run methods asynchronously. Filling in the method, we will use Guava stopwatch as a timer and thread.sleep to delay the execution of the method by 500 milliseconds. Finally, returning an async result, which is a wrapper object that implements listenable future, which Spring borrowed from Guava. After creating the lower level class, we can call it by exposing a URL. Let's break down the task executor controller method. Guava stopwatch will be used to calculate the duration of the execution execution of the method. Next, four async result variables will be created by calling my sample service call async, passing in a number that represents the execution order. Once the method executes, processing immediately starts on the background thread while the main thread continues execution. It isn't until the async.get that the main thread will fetch the result or wait if the thread is still processing. Two usage notes. If you are running multiple async method calls, you should put the slowest call first as it is kicked off in the order of execution. Execution. Second, if you're ever questioning if your process is running asynchronously, you can remove the enable async in your application class and rerun your application. Let's fire up the server and hope that it executes within two seconds. As we continue to shift towards performance as a feature, it is important to understand how async calls can be used to help. Spring makes it fairly easy to set up, but you should be aware of other impacts to your system. For instance, it is possible that running tasks asynchronously may slow down your requests based on the behavior of thread and be aware of container threading impacts as well as having enough database connections. Thanks for joining in today's Level Up. Have a great day.